Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for November 25th, 2022. Please show me what everyone wants to know, hear, or see. Thank you. Whoa. Cards are falling out. All right. Um, I hope you're all doing awesome today. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I just was not in the card reading mode. And um, it started to come back, and someone also bought me a new deck. So it's nice to have some new pictures to look at just to get me back into it. So let's just jump in. I'm just going to use one deck today. Oh, wow. So we're starting off in the heart space with the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. And it's a really cute little rabbit sitting in some flowers, daffodils maybe. Um, it feels like spring. It feels like dew is on the ground. It's just making me feel like Easter. Um, it's an opportunity, it's a message. It is um, receiving something, a gift, money, a blessing. In the inspiration, you have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So somebody who has walked away from something might be returning to something. Yeah. But it feels like they're feeling very um, fragile. Like they, maybe this person is going to, um, they're going to do something in the spring. They're going to return to somewhere, like return to your hometown, um, return to a person. It's returning to something or someone in the past, but that rabbit is looking away and it feels like they're, they're not sure, like it's not the time yet. It's not the time yet, so maybe it's in the spring. Maybe that's why I'm... All right, in there, strength, fears, and feelings. You have the Nine of Cups in the reverse. So something is not um, a dream come true. Something is... <sighs> they were saturate, satur saturated before. Yeah, someone someone ate the canary. Someone has a feather sticking out of their mouth. There's no bird in that cage and the cat has a feather. Um, but yeah, like that's like insanely happy having everything, but he looks kind of, I don't know, proud or stubborn, something like that. Now it's in the reverse. Something, something is leaving a bad taste in this person's mouth in their intuition, the nine of swords in the reverse. Okay, so yeah, so there could be a lot of fighting or they're defending themselves, but it's in their intuition, so it feels kind of like the five of swords. It feels like an internal battle. Mm -hmm. Their heart is softening. They're not wanting something that they're, they're leaving something that they don't like, something that was a false dream um, that turned into a nightmare. So, all right, let's just keep going in the closure. This is the action that needs to be done in order to get to this position, which is walking away, um, from something. The page of swords. Okay. So you have two pa Oh, sorry. That's not the page of pentacles over there. That's the ace of pentacles. Um, so the page of swords is learning, it's, um, it's studying, it's spying, it's saying something, it's a message from afar, and it's above the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So it feels like someone is getting their thoughts together, they're forming their words. It's beside that Ace of Pentacles, so it feels like they're trying to soften their edges, because this feels very defensive very nightmarish scenario, especially beside this. This is kind of feeling like the tower. All right, let's keep going. In the near future, you have the three of swords in the upright. So that's distance, that is clarity, that is brilliance, being very smart, um, but it's also deception. It also means betrayal. So there's gonna be some kind of separation in the near future and it's right beside that walking away card or returning to something that you walked away card because something is a nightmare. Somebody 
can't sleep or somebody is arguing all the time they're trying to they're trying to get the truth out there they're trying to clarify something but it feels like like they're in this state of mind where their heart feels very very sweet and vulnerable and their mouth feels like it's honest but their intuition is very conflicted And their strength, fears, and feelings are motivated by getting out of something here. Returning to something. Making distance between themselves and something. Um, yeah, this is somebody that's trying to get out of something that they're really not liking. And they're trying to go towards something that's sweet. They have to... They have to clarify the truth to themselves. Or they have to do some research. Or they have to say something honest. But, but in a nice way, not in this kind of fighting back way. So you have the Seven of Wands in the upright at the base of this. So the Seven of Wands is, it's blocking. At the base of this, somebody's blocking something. Someone is protecting themselves. It's, it's feeling like more of this. But this is more, um, it feels like almost physical blocking. It could be, have to have something to do with this three of swords that's making distance but someone is really trying to put the sweetness in their life and so they're letting go of things they could be telling them with that page of swords they, they might be telling people look I need to protect myself protect my heart this is someone protecting their heart and it feels like it's someone making decisions about who is going to stay in their environment because it really feels like they're not liking their environment they're returning to something they're speaking up about it but they're being very nice about it but then it feels like this is a block and um like they could be saying i'm never going to speak to you again um and not because they're holding malice because they're not but because somebody isn't at the same sweet level and it's, it's kind of like, um, I don't want to fight. And if you insist on fighting, then I'm just, I'm going to have to walk away and put distance and boundaries between us. Behind you, you have the six of wands in the upright. So that is, I don't know why I just heard dedication, but I did. But, um, so it means dedication. It, but what... The card means is victory, um, getting noticed, something online. It could be, it could mean a family squabble in a way, like not an outright, you know, brawl. <laughs> but people that have to be right, there's no, there's rigidity in there. There's, and somebody is making lists, or they were making lists. Like you have to do this, 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 or. Or it could be that I've done this, 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 this. And I'm noticing there's a wreath hanging on the top rod. So, and they're standing there protecting it. So, somebody wanted to be the best. Somebody wanted to be the... I just looked at that Nine of Swords and heard somebody wanted to be the worst. So, somebody wanted to be the best and somebody wanted to be the worst. That could have been the same person. I don't know. It, it feels very egotistical. Um, very rigid and that could be what this person was they were trying to get some kind of fame or some kind of um, promotion they wanted the they wanted the best and they were they were being the worst something like that I don't know if this is the ace of Pentacles person that is soft in their heart space right now and feels like they're leaving something speaking up about something making distance between themselves and something um, they might have, something might have just been for show or they're feeling like it is all for show, something like that. Somebody's also noticing or they did. Cats are playing. All right, and the outcome, you have the seven of pentacles in the upright. So somebody is making an investment. Somebody is being patient. One step at a time is what's in their headspace. Like they're they're just they're doing one thing at a time in order to make this move in the spring. They're they're preparing. They're they're putting things together. They're packing. Um, they're writing messages. They're paying debts. They're 
they're doing all the things that they need to do in order to make this move. And this is move away, three of swords. That's move away. That's also a three-party situation and it's, it's fitting with this egotistical um, nightmare kind of situation. Something that looked good, but then inside it's not so good. This person now knows the truth about someone or something, or they're figuring out that something is all for show in their advice. This person has the five of wands in the upright, so that is, yeah, yeah, this is all about someone, this is a plan, someone has a plan in their head, they have love in their heart, they're looking for an opportunity, or they're preparing for an opportunity, or they're creating an opportunity with that, and the five of wands, they're, they're um, okay, that is um, also competition. And it looks like there's two wolves or dogs or something and and they're like yelling at each other. So there's a lot of fighting here. Um, but the Five of Wands as the advice, I think what it's saying is to switch, switch your fight from fighting with this person who always has to be right and who is a nightmare on legs, switch it to Focusing on your plan that's in your heart. That's what that's saying to me. Because you're not going to get anywhere except exhausted. And just, well, that's where you are right here with this Eight of Cups in the reverse. You're just going to, this person's just going to exhaust you and drain your energy. And then you won't be able to put it towards whatever this plan is. All right, so bottom of the deck, the Fool in the reverse. So somebody went too far or that's what's going to happen. Um... Yeah, and it's right beside this Three of Swords, this distance and betrayal, and it also means, um, I'm not gonna say it. Okay, so the Fool in the reverse. Yeah, somebody went too far. So this is in what you don't expect to see coming. And there's going to be distance. There's gonna be, there's gonna be a breakup. There's a, there's a breakup coming. Distance, a breakup. Um, somebody is protecting themselves, and I don't mean physically protecting your, well, it could be, but um, protecting your spirit, protecting your emotions. You have to fight for your way out, not fight with the person that you're trying to get out from that is always right anyway. There's nothing you can say. You could have spoken the truth already, and in a very kind way. You might have even planned out your words, but this person is not listening to you. They're not listening to you. They have the wreath hanging somewhere. It's like some kind of, um, oh, what's the word for that? Accol no, not an accolade. They're right and that's all there is. There's nothing you can do with them except cut them loose. Three of swords in the upright. Um, somebody went too far and there's no turning back. This is over. Whatever it is, this could be a job. You could be working your way towards um, starting your own business. You could, or, yeah. Yeah, because this is also being very, very smart. Like, And this is literally jumping off the cliff. You cannot get back up. This is, you're, you're setting yourself free, completely free from this very rigid, um, aggressive or abusive person that's always trying to get you in a fight. So you need to fight for you, not fight against this person that you're never going to win with anyway. And why do you even want to? Because you're supposed to be fighting. It shouldn't be fighting. It should be a discussion on how each person actually feels, right? And this is somebody, they want to be right about how you feel even. Like they're telling you how you feel isn't how you're supposed to feel. They think that there's a, a way you're supposed to feel. This person is incredibly rigid. Um, there's nothing you can do except cut the ties. Cut the ties and protect yourself. Protect your dream. Protect your plan. Work on your plan. It looks like it's going to happen in the spring or you're planning it for the spring. Somehow spring is in your heart and you're being very patient. So there you go, you guys. All right. I love you. Have a beautiful day.